Brace yourselves, guys. A new era in battery technology is about to begin, leading the charge is none other than the world's top EV battery maker, CL. Their latest innovation isn't just another upgrade, it's a bold leap that promises to redefine how we power electric vehicles. Top executives claim this new battery could push EV technology into an entirely new league. So, what makes CL's sodium-ion battery the talk of the EV world? For years, sodium-ion batteries have been whispered about as the safer, smarter alternative to traditional lithium-ion packs. While lithium-ion batteries can catch fire or fail under pressure, Sodium Tech flips the script, offering a far more stable, secure and worry-free energy solution for EVs. Think of it as a calm, controlled powerhouse that keeps your ride safe even under stress. The excitement around CL's breakthrough reached a new peak when Galhan, the company's chief technology officer for EV business, dropped the bombshell. Sodium-ion battery technology is no longer confined to laboratories. We at CL have made breakthroughs in energy density, cost efficiency, and environmental sustainability, paving the way for mass adoption. That statement wasn't just words, it marked the official green light for CL's sodium-ion revolution. According to insiders, CL's sodium-ion battery isn't just another experiment, it's one of a kind. Still, even the biggest revolutions face a few hurdles before taking off, so, let's dig into the challenges that had to be conquered before this tech could hit the market. Ask anyone in the EV industry and they'll tell you, lithium-ion batteries have been the backbone of electric mobility for years. But there's always been a catch. Lithium-ion comes at a cost both in price and safety. Sodium-ion batteries, while cheaper and safer, lag behind in one key area, energy density. Fast forward to now, and everything's changed. CL has found a way to turn that weakness into a strength, closing the performance gap and setting the stage for a new generation of electric vehicles. However, fast forward to 2025 and everything that posed a challenge to the adoption of sodium-ion batteries over lithium-ion batteries has changed, and CL made sure that they took advantage of that. At Supertech Day 2025, CL unveiled its new Nextra battery platform. The platform offers a major leap in sodium-ion battery development and promises to tackle several areas where lithium-ion batteries couldn't fill the gap. Now that we've put that aside, let's consider five facts about CL's sodium-ion batteries which could lead to the displacement of lithium-ion batteries and even disrupt the entire EV industry. 1. The new battery has a robust energy density. The first production under the Nexra brand will be of a new sodium-ion battery, with an energy density of 175 watt-hours per kilogram. This figure is nearly equivalent to the lithium-iron phosphate batteries popularly used in electric vehicles, and even surpasses some EV battery energy densities like the BMW i3 and the Gilly Galaxy E5. On the flip side, this energy density is enough to deliver 124 miles or 200 kilometers of electric range in a PHEV and up to 310 miles or 500 kilometers in a pure EV. Those estimates come from China's testing cycle, which is usually quite generous with range, but honestly, those are decent numbers for city cars and micro EVs gaining popularity around the world. Even though lithium-ion batteries have stood out because of the energy densities they offer, sodium-ion batteries have come to take that spot. In the future, we could even see higher energy densities from sodium-ion batteries. You'll agree that lithium-ion batteries could become obsolete if this happens. Number 2. High Performance in Extreme Weather Conditions CL says its new sodium-ion battery can store a good amount of energy and can charge up to 80% in just 15 minutes at normal room temperature. Even in very cold weather, like minus 20 degrees Celsius, it still keeps over 90% of its power. To help it function this way, CL has created a system that lets manufacturers combine sodium-ion and lithium-ion batteries in one unit. The smart control system manages how the two types work together. This helps make up for the fact that sodium-ion batteries don't store as much energy, while still benefiting from their fast charging and strong performance in cold weather. However, we can understand where CL is coming from, they don't want customers to have very high expectations of the batteries. With time, we expect further announcements on this battery specification. Now, let's talk about extended life cycles. CL has emphasized that their new sodium-ion batteries boast an impressive 10,000 life cycles. That's quite a leap forward, wouldn't you say? If this is true, then we can expect this battery to lead to a real breakthrough in battery longevity and reliability. It's a game-changer, no doubt about it. We say this because, well, most current EV batteries last around 1,000 to 2,000 full cycles. When you do the math, that translates to about 8 to 15 years of use. Quite a difference, isn't it? Now, 
a battery with 10,000 full cycles and 500 kilometers per cycle offers up to 5 million kilometers, or about 3.1 million miles, of driving over its lifetime. Do you know what that means? The battery could actually outlive the vehicle it is contained in, and even, uh, multiple vehicles. It would also reduce long-term ownership costs and environmental impact. On the commercial side, it could mean that high-mileage services like taxis, delivery vehicles, and buses would benefit enormously. In addition, there would be a lower total cost of ownership due to minimal battery replacement needs. 5. High Safety Protocol If there's one aspect that is impressive about CL's new sodium-ion batteries, then it is the safety it guarantees. The company says its sodium-ion battery is much safer because of the way sodium behaves. The battery does not easily form spikes or what are called dendrites inside the battery, and it's less likely to overheat or catch fire. CL explained that they tested the battery far more strictly than the usual safety rules require. They even pierced and drilled the fully charged battery, and it barely gave off any smoke, no fire, and no explosion. Even cutting the battery with a saw didn't cause it to burn. The reason it's so safe is because of the electrolytes contained in the battery, which act like a protective barrier. They help stop heat from building up and block the formation of dangerous internal structures. The company calls it a kind of built-in firewall, and they made it clear that keeping the battery safe is their top priority. This technological shift extends beyond just the batteries themselves and into the very infrastructure that supports electric mobility. The widespread adoption of sodium-ion batteries could significantly alter the economic and environmental calculus of the entire energy sector. For instance, the raw materials for sodium-ion batteries, primarily sodium, are vastly more abundant and geographically widespread than lithium, cobalt, and nickel. This abundance translates to not only lower and more stable costs, but also a reduction in the geopolitical tensions and ethical concerns often associated with mining for lithium and cobalt. Furthermore, the enhanced safety profile of CL's batteries could lead to a relaxation of the stringent and expensive safety systems required for lithium-ion packs in EVs and energy storage. This could simplify vehicle design, reduce manufacturing costs, and allow for more flexible and dense battery packing, potentially freeing up space for passengers or cargo. The implications for large-scale grid storage are equally profound. A battery that is inherently safe, long-lasting, and made from cheap common materials is the ideal solution for storing renewable energy from solar and wind farms, accelerating the transition away from fossil fuels. However, the rise of sodium-ion technology does not necessarily signal an immediate and total demise for lithium-ion. In the short to medium term, a diversified battery ecosystem is the most likely outcome. Lithium-ion batteries, with their currently superior energy-to-weight ratio, will likely continue to dominate in premium, long-range vehicles and high-performance applications where maximum range is critical. The market could stratify, with sodium-ion batteries powering affordable city cars, public transportation, and stationary storage while advanced lithium-ion variants remain in luxury sedans and performance vehicles. Ultimately, CL's breakthrough represents, you know, a pivotal moment. It challenges the industry's status quo and offers a really compelling path toward more accessible, sustainable, and safer electrification. The competition between these technologies will undoubtedly spur further innovation in both camps, benefiting consumers and the planet alike. The question is no longer if sodium-ion batteries will have a role, but honestly, how substantial that role will be in shaping the future of energy. With this CL sodium ion battery rollout, we've seen its potential and what it has to offer. However, how would lithium ion batteries fare in the EV market? Let's consider just two areas in which lithium ion batteries could be greatly impacted. The first area is the aspect of market share loss. If sodium ion batteries prove to be reliable, automakers may shift towards sodium ion to reduce cost. As you would expect, this would lead to a decline in lithium-ion battery demand as automakers might use them in lower-cost EVs to make those cars more affordable for people. So, the second area could be the aspect of the manufacturing shift. Instead of producing more lithium-ion batteries, battery manufacturers might actually expand to support sodium-ion battery production. This could, you know, divert capital investment away from further lithium-ion innovation, which might lead to stagnation in its development. Would the CL sodium ion battery suffice? Well, it seems that all areas of concern have been dealt with by CL, especially when it comes to battery life cycle and energy density. Let's have your thoughts in the comments section.